was Saturday morning about uh, 1140 I'm headed to the button patch just to do a little more testing I've been picking up some knives and you ain't gonna believe what I got the guy gave me some kitchen knives the whole block of kitchen knives are sharpened and a bag full of different kind of knives he wants sharpened and then he says look I got some boxes of knives I want you to take a look at I, I want to get rid of them two boxes of knives I'll show you some when I get home it's truly amazing I don't know what to do some of them are so valuable it's unbelievable and some of them are just knives oh man when we first started hunting this site in 2008 there were feet there were wagon I think I might have told you they were wagon tracks all through here but it was really heavy but you could see of course where the wagon tracks were and that's where we'd find the buttons on both sides of the wagon tracks we found a few in the tracks themselves but the bulk of it was in the outside or left or the right of the tracks themselves they went all through here but like I said it was heavily treed then I'm hunting in park one today I mean park two today I was in field two the last time I was here I've dug a 22 and a piece of iron square looking thing and I think that's it I'll get back to you we dug some 22s a couple of pieces of iron and you can see that's a deep hole but we got us our first button I see the anchor in the eagle see it there it is right there cool I knew there's some in here ha <laughs> ha you taquito in 2008 this was like what we call the wilderness over there to the left the trees were all in through here and there's like a little swamp you can see the swamp grass it ran down through here like this and this was the road that went through that little swamp and I found a stove a couple of old pieces right here in the deepest part of this little cutoff what we call the wilderness over there plenty of iron here look now, I don't remember ever hearing all this iron with the uh, Sovereign. What did I have then? I had the uh, uh, Frankensplorer, the uh, SE Pro in a waterproof box. I call it the Frankensplorer. I like, I'm in field, I'm back to field. No, where am I? I'm in part two again. I like part two. I'm hunting in all metal. You can hear the iron. It hits every little piece. But when you're in there, like I said, I don't know much about this baby for the dirt. But if you give it a good little pump or two, it stays all iron. The good sounds stay good. But what do I know about this baby? I'll see if I can show you next time I find something. All right, here's what I run into with this Knox. That's indiscriminate. Now if I put in all metals, still sounds good, but you got a minus number. If I pump it, all you hear is iron. I tested it. That's all I get is iron. But it sounds good. You can hear it. When you pump it, you don't get much. All right, here's another example. We're going to dig this one just because I'll show you what it is or find out what it is. I got it to discriminate. 
You can see it jumps from 18 to 24. The pump it is still good. I put in all metals. Jumps all around. But you get iron. Well, let's see what this is. Stand by. Sounds okay. 21. Now the buttons have been coming in for 14 and 18. The ones that I tested at home and the one we found today was in 17. I don't know what this is going to be. Let's take it and find out. I got to head back in just a minute. I got to help Chris clean out the garage. She's trying to put her car in the garage. Big though, big though. This is about where the old stove was. Stand by. Looks like a 20 gauge. Looks like Jack is starting to clear out the wilderness. This is where he was working the other day when I was in here. We never found much in the wilderness, but we might have to come back and give it a spin. Well, my hour's up. Actually, I ran over an hour. It was 90 minutes, so I'm going to be in the doghouse a little bit, but it'll be worth it, I think. I don't see any deer yet. I guess I'm a little too early. It's like 3.30. Stand by. I got the buttons soaking. Clean them up a little bit. Here's the knives I brought home to sharpen. It's a whole block of kitchen aids. And uh, in the bag is pocket knives and an old K bar. Looks like pocket knives and K bar, two fixed blade knives. But you just ain't going to believe the other stuff. Stand by. He's got two boxes of knives. These are some of the pocket knives. Swiss Army knives. Still in the box. Unbelievable. This is mostly case knives. I don't know how many's in there. There's a few pocket knives at the bottom. Shut up. This is a Cutco. This is a cool axe case. I've never seen one like it that small. A dive knife. This is a, one of them. I don't know. But look at this baby. Looks like a homemade knife. God knows what's in here. There ain't no way of knowing. I've never seen nothing like it. Indians. Are you ready, Indians? I'm going to do a separate video on just this stuff right here later. Probably tomorrow or the next day. I just picked these three out as I was putting the other stuff back in the box. Look, Boy Scout knife, Girl Scout knife. I think that's a Girl Scout knife. I ain't got my glasses on so I can't tell. All right, let's see what we got here. We got some a 20 gauge shotgun shell and a 12 gauge shotgun shell. Some iron, some nails, uh, aluminum it sounded like. A 22. I think this is another bullet, but I can't tell you what kind. This is another 22. This is the brass part. This is the lead part. I dug two of those, and I tested some of those from home because I still had some. They came in like one or two, so I stopped digging them. There's a lot of them there today. I don't know what this is. 
no design. It's got a little kind of a, well, might as well say no design. I don't know if that looks kind of modern. I didn't knock off the dust off that, so I don't know what that is, but. Hell, I ain't got the buttons out here. Hold on a minute. Well, this one just appears to be a plain flat button. I cleaned it up some. I don't see anything on the front. It's got something on the back. I cleaned it up. But it's hard to make out what it is. Some kind of writing. And this one cleaned up better than I expected. Marine Corps, 1830, 20 to 30 issue, er, era, which is what they all were in that particular place where we found them. And I think it says Scoville on the back. It's not nearly as clear as some of the ones we found there, but I got a better picture of it. You'll be able to see it. The other ones were Schofields. So I'm thinking this is as well. But it's got the anchor and the eagle and 13 stars on the left-hand side of the anchor, which makes it relatively old. Pre-Civil War stuff, which is all we found there. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow.